Dr. Anna, the coronavirus has brought such chaos into our lives, but we can bring some order back into the chaos. Our lives have been greatly disrupted with so many businesses closed, the long lines of the grocery stores. It's hard even to find toilet paper. Libraries are closed, schools are on hold, and children are at home. When so many things are disrupted, we find that our normal routines can no longer continue as we know them to be. All of us have mental maps on how the world should function, and when so many things are out of whack, our mind registers that something is wrong, and we start getting stressed. We may feel powerless. We definitely didn't ask for this virus. We may feel a loss of control. The government tells us what to do. They tell us which businesses have to stay open, and which ones have to close. And we can lose a sense of safety when we hear more and more people around the world are getting this virus. While some things are not within our control, there are some things that we can do. For one thing. We can follow the recommendations of the medical personnel to wash your hands frequently for 20 seconds with soap, clean or disinfect surfaces that you use regularly, apply social distancing by keeping six feet away from others, shelter at home, and avoid social gatherings. Another thing that we can do to bring some order back into our lives is to establish a daily routine. We can set a regular time for bed and for getting up, time for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Set up a time for devotion and prayer. If you have children at home, set up a time to do homework with them. There can be time for chores. Maybe this is a good time to start some home projects that you wanted to do for so long, like setting up a bookshelf or cleaning up the garage. We can even set up a time for recreation. Time to listen to music or watch some TV, but be careful not to binge watch, and limit how much time you spend watching the news. You also want to set a weekly schedule for physical exercises. Even though you have to stay at home, there are a lot of exercises that you can do at home, like jogging in one spot, or lying on the floor or on the bed and bicycling in the air. You can do exercise at least every other day. You can start a new hobby, like learning to play an instrument, crocheting, or writing calligraphy. You can learn new skills by taking a course on the internet, or learn something new on YouTube. And it is very important to maintain your social contacts via telephone, email, or social media. Some church groups have online weekly meetings, and that's something important to maintain. Focus on what you can do. Even though a lot of things have changed, focus on what do not change. The Bible tells us in Hebrews 13:8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. God's love for you, His promises, and His perfect plan for your life will never change. Hold on to that. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 20. For no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. For things that are beyond our control, release them to God. He is in control. The virus was not a surprise to him. He didn't wake up one day and say, "Oh, I didn't see that coming." The Bible tells us in 1 John 4:4 that greater is He, God, that is in us, than He. Satan, or in this case, the virus, that is in the world. A pastor once said, "We may not know what the future holds, but we know who holds the future." Hold on to that truth. Trust God, and He will keep in perfect peace all those who trust in Him.